lovers of YouTube comic book stuff that's on my channel. Batman and Spider-Man and I are here for our San Diego Comic-Con 2014 news roundup. I'm bringing you guys all the great news that you guys love to hear my opinion on and all the great news that you love to hear me talk about. So let's talk about Joaquin Phoenix as Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is one of my other favorite Avengers characters. So I would love to see him portrayed on screen properly. I have like, I have like really rare favorite characters. They don't get their movies like Iron Man or Thor or Captain America or Dark Phoenix. We don't talk about that. Anyway, so for me it was like Dark Phoenix, Doctor Strange, you know, those kind of characters. And to see him on screen properly represented would be great for me. And to see Joaquin Phoenix play him, I've got to say, I can see it. I, I, when I, I really can picture him as Doctor Strange. For me, I always thought, I always name dropped like the, uh, the guy that played, oh, I forgot his name, the guy that played Mr. Fantastic in the original Fantastic Four movies. I thought he'd have been good. Uh, Hugh Laurie would have been good also as like a Doctor House kind of character for Doctor Strange. Or just, they named Jack Benedict Cumberbatch, but he automatically shot that shit down, so there was no point in even hoping for that. And just pretty much like Pierce Brosnan. I even said Pierce Brosnan, so... For me, Joaquin Phoenix is like, he's really good in adapting to his roles, and I feel like he would do really well with putting Doctor Strange in the correct light. And I have to say, I would be so excited to see that. You have no idea. Like, and even with the proper storyline, all that stuff, to see him interact with everybody else would be priceless. To see him interact with any of them, like the Avengers or S.H.I.E.L.D. or just anybody else would be amazing. Fun fact about Doctor Strange, I think, uh, what was it, a couple years ago or like max five years ago, uh, George R.R. R. Martin was interested in writing for Doctor Strange, like for the movie. His only thing was he would write him only as a solo kind of character. So he would never interact with any of the other characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Which, as we all know, is a big no-no because we're trying to be one big happy family. Except for the Fox bully and the Sony bully that won't let the X-Men, Fantastic Four, or Spider-Man come to play with us. Because they hate knowing our love, and that is not good. But... Would George R. R. Martin have been good writing Doctor Strange? Probably would have killed him. We probably would have got Ron attached to him and he probably would have killed him. Probably would have Red Wedding, the Ancient One, Purple Wedding, his butler. And like, Dormammu would have been like King Joffrey. Jack Gleason as Dormammu. Holy shit. Jack Gleason as Dormammu. Oh my god. I can't. I am so done with this thought. Because I just can't. King, wow. Who's an even bigger asshole? Walder Frey as Shuma Gorath. Oh, I'm so done. Oh, I am done. Who's a... Ooh, and Peter Baelish is the ancient one. Because he's be a liar. And he'd lie to everybody. And, yeah, I think I'm finished. <laughs> I think I'm done with my comedic Doctor Strange talk here. But I'm hoping that they make the Doctor Strange movie. And I hope that Joaquin Phoenix gets the chance to play him. Or any of my other suggestions. But pretty much, Joaquin Phoenix is the name that's on everybody's tongues right now. So... I'm kind of hoping he gets it. So tell me, guys. Give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below who you think should be Doctor Strange. Or if you think Joaquin Phoenix is a really good choice to be the role. I can't wait to hear and talk about it with you guys. I make videos every Wednesday and every Saturday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to be the first people to know when I make new videos. And always remember that through good times and bad times, always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'm going to catch you guys next week for more great weekly content.